This is the vegan anarchist. And in this video, I'm going to explain what is free market anti-capitalism. Let's do this. All right. And of course, I was an Amcom and Uncle Commies, and I became a mucus, and I live stream about it. But the, what is free market anti-capitalism? And why, why is it so important? Well, first, you have to define terms, because for the longest time, well, not, not in the 19th century, but like in the 20th and 21st century, people have conflated capitalism with free market, which is free exchange. And you still see the, left, the conflationism on the left and the right. But the, so let's define some words first. Free market is free, any free and voluntary exchange. Capitalism is an economic system that we have today, which is, involves wage labor and cap, boss worker relationships and private property, you know, all the other trappings of capitalism. This is what we have today that has been in place for hundreds of years, that not the, not voluntary exchange. I could go more into detail what capitalism is, but suffice to say it's a system we have now. But how is it, so, so people assume that the reason why there is large presence of wealth concentration from like billionaires is because the market naturally produces that stuff. But according to the works of Benjamin Tucker, Lysander Spooner, Josiah Warren, Pete Proudhon, and even modern day mutualists like Kevin Carson and people from the Stateless, Center for a Stateless Society, C. Frost has pointed out. That's simply not true. For example, much of the wealth inequalities you see in, in, in the United States and elsewhere isn't because we have free, isn't because the market is free, but because the market isn't free. But how is it free? Well, to use for Benjamin Tucker's four examples of the former, the four examples of monopolies. We have the patent monopoly, which which artificially restricts or IP who can who can use what technology and creates barriers to competition and its protections and jacks other prices. And intellectual property, for example, jacks up the price of pharmaceuticals and diabetes drugs to the point where people are literally dying. Thousands, maybe millions of people are literally dying around this world because drugs are too expensive because not because they're too expensive to make but because they're patented and no other company can copy it anyways that's one monopoly then we have the money monopoly well what is the money monopoly well it's a monopoly that the United States gives to certain banks to, to get, for the monopoly of creating new money. For example, the Federal Reserve, we have the Federal Reserve, and we have rules, so then we have the banks can create, all out of thin air. Of course, losses, you have to have some capital, but perhaps all of thin air, you can create, banks can create money at almost almost no cost and loan them out for for a huge interest rate, basically usury because you didn't create the value. You you I mean you create the values about nothing, almost nothing to cost, and you ex expanding monopoly prices. And you see it with the banks and the Federal Reserve. You have the land monopoly. Like we, most of the land is got privately owned or government owned, and we have absentee land owners and people who own thousands of acres or a huge amount of land that they never use. Meanwhile, we have a, and houses that aren't being used and are abandoned. Meanwhile, there's homeless people who are homeless and can't access them, 
And we have speculators using land monopoly to spike up the cost of, of land and make it harder for people to compete against the capitalist class. And, and, then, and then to add, we have protectionism, tariffs, especially now this is what Trump is doing, stopping our tariffs, which will protect domestic industries from foreign competition. But yeah, but it also raises the price of goods that we all have to pay for, like sugar, for example. And there's others like licensing fees and regulations and a whole bunch of stuff. Like even taxes, like and in a product you could buy like a gum, but everyone every stage of production of that gum to the point they sell it to you is all taxed. Every step is taxed. Which raises up the prices. So, to argue for free market and to capitalism, we argue for the freed market. And we add a D in the end because we have to work to free the market from the bourgeoisie, from the capitalists, from the government, even from patriarchy, white supremacy, ableism, and other forms of systemic domination. We must get rid of the landlords and the bosses. And to do that, we have people own the means of production, either collectively or individually. And, and, me, and the idea is, based off the ethics of reciprocity and mutualism, we can, we can have free exchange, but avoid capitalism. Because if you have the means of people have the means of production for themselves and don't need to get hired to use them, why would they, most people wouldn't even wouldn't even uh, bother working for a boss if they can make the products here? Their entrepreneurship is cheap, but it's socialism in that workers control the means of production either individually or collectively. Now I pose a private ownership of capital and it, and there's no it, usury because land land because rent and interest are the winner because market competition completely flattens those out to the point where there's barely any to the point where the cost of a loan Give us the amount of interest they'll charge, but no less. So there won't be even be any interest because of competition, because they would just charge just enough because of, it would reduce the price and, and only enough do enough to do the overhead of doing the loan. Now, but but how is that different from libertarianism or right libertarianism, free market, so-called capitalism? Which capitalism is not a free market. And I can tell you this. I can tell you this. When, when right wingers use free market to defend corporations, they're using the rhetoric of free market to defend unfreed and privileged systems and companies and corporations. They're not actually for a free market. They have, they have used the term and abused it. And free exchange of goods and services, law of equal liberty, reciprocity, everybody getting the full product of the wages by having everybody have access to the means of production and ownership of it. And doing away with the land tiles we have nowadays and focus on the occupancy and use and the realization that property is theft, as the Proudhon wrote, the, who's a mutualist, and the first person to call himself an anarchist. We could take out those privileges 
And when combined with labor struggles, like unionism, not like the BS unions, but like militant unionism, we could create a dictatorship of the proletariat without the state, with the market of the invisible hand, of the freed market. And I said free, not free, for a reason. Who smashed down on the, on the corporations. Because corporations get big nowadays because they externalize their costs of them, of their diseconomy scales, and the economies of scales are, um, are artificially propped up. And you can find more of that in the Center for a State of Society, but I've been rambling too much along. The point is, free market anti capitalists, we're socialists, but we accept voluntary exchange. We're, we're for people, we're socialists in the fact that we want. Workers control the means of production and the people to keep what they produce, keep the labor, reap the full fruits of the labor. We're not bosses, landlords, and, and it should also be noted that many of the advocates for free market anti capitalism or freed markets or free are advocates for socialism and markets like Benjamin Tucker. Are, are free marketeers, and only during the 20th century did we lose that. But we can gain it back. We can smash the state, smash the capitalist class, and outcompete them, and be victorious in our class war. We can smash the landlords. We can. And markets are a tool to use to do it. This is the vegan anarchist. No meat, no milk, no masters. Life, liberty, and a means of production for all. See ya.